invent new ways to play with Toy-Con Garage. In episode three, we'll look at making a rubber band guitar. Toy-Con Garage is a secret lab hidden in all Nintendo Labo software where you can invent your own Toy-Con. The new invention we'll be looking at today is a rubber band guitar with a realistic strumming sensation. For this Toy-Con, you'll need six rubber bands. That's all. Let's start with setting up the audio. For the input node, we have if touched. For the output node, we have make sound. Let's set the note to E for now. On the setting screen, let's set the timbre to guitar one. Adjust the sound duration and connect the nodes. When we touch the note, yeah, that sounds like a guitar. Now let's set up six notes, just like you'd find on a real guitar. From the settings, select copy to copy the node. Let's copy this node too. Let's change the note and connect the nodes. And now we have a second note. Now we just repeat until we have six notes. And it sounds like this. If we press this button at the top of the screen, we're left with just the input nodes, and they won't move when you touch them now. Since they're fixed in place, you can move your hand across them to play the notes like this. In fact, you can actually change the size and angle of the node boxes. Making the boxes a bit longer makes it easier to play. Nice! Here's where those rubber bands come in. Place the rubber bands around the console so that they line up with the six nodes. Now, when you strum the rubber bands like you're playing a guitar, wasn't that great? Whether you strum a chord or play the notes one by one, it's a pretty good effect. Those rubber bands really help to give you a realistic playing sensation. By the way, you can even change the guitar sound to something like this. Now, let's set things up so the range of notes changes when you press a button. So, for example, when you press the left stick, and when you press the up button, and when you press the down button. Now, when you press these buttons, it'll change the note that plays when you touch the nodes on the screen change sounds to produce an authentic performance like this. Build and combine and bring some other Toy-Con instruments into the mix, you could make a band just like this. On top of the guitar sounds, there are other sounds too, like piano, organ, cat, man, and SFX. In the settings, you find a section called Use Input for What. You can use this to change the volume or frequency of the sound depending on, for example, the Joy-Con's tilt. Don't quite see where we're going with this? Let me explain. When the Joy-Con is raised like this, the sound gets higher. When you lower it like this, the sound gets lower. Add in an if a button is pressed input node, and you've just created a strange instrument you play by tilting it and pressing buttons. Work hard and you'll surely be able to play some tunes. Maybe. Make. Play. Discover. Available now at Smith's Toy Superstores.